So in a previous video, I uh, went through how to work out whether your site was mobile friendly or not. And we discovered that this website is definitely not mobile friendly. And so what I want to run through now is what you could do if you wanted to just change the theme, if it was a, um, a WordPress site. So, or potentially if it was some other site that uh, has themes. So this, this website here, Template Monster, and there's another one here, Theme Forest. What they do is they sell themes for various website platforms. So you see they've got WordPress themes, Joomla themes, Magento, um, over here they talk about um, WordPress, HTML. So there's a whole range of different options when it comes to finding a new theme depending on what your website is built on. Um, and with WordPress in particular, there, there's thousands and millions probably of what we call responsive themes. So you could go to one of these sites like Template Monster, uh, click on WordPress and then um, go down here and we're looking for a responsive theme. And so then you've got you know, hundreds of options. So you might want to refine that search based on you know what industry you're in to try and find a theme that, that suits you and your industry. Another thing that you could do is actually search in Google for WordPress responsive themes and um, it comes up you see template monster and theme forest come up then there's another one here that's got 30 free responsive and stunning WordPress themes and if we go into that blog post it again it shows you all the different themes it gives you some information about them don't usually recommend necessarily free themes because they often aren't kept up to date if you actually buy a theme uh, from a company then usually there's a person who's uh, that theme may have been downloaded a thousand times and so therefore they you know have a responsibility to all those people to to keep it updated but this is just to give you a bit of an example so we're obviously we're looking at this now on a on a desktop if I um, do this and try and mimic say like a mobile device now you can see what this theme looks like on a mobile device and maybe a, a tablet that might be this wide and you can see what the theme looks like so that's a responsive theme so it adjusts its size based on whatever size of device that you're trying to view the website on so if you found a theme that you really really liked um, that you thought okay well this this is a new theme that I want to use for my website then what you can do is you know buy the theme and then maybe get that theme company to install it for you on your on your wordpress um, if you go into like the back end of wordpress you'll see that there's a section here called appearance and themes and this is where all the different themes of your website are stored so at the moment mine is built on this john thomas one um, and in here it's got some uh, standard ones that WordPress has just put in there. So if, if you went and bought your theme, um, got it uploaded into here or uploaded it yourself if you wanted to, you can add new and you can upload it yourself or sometimes there could you know be issues with that. So it, it may, it's probably worth getting somebody who is a web developer or somebody who knows how to, um, to fix it if an issue comes up when you're installing the theme. But then what I can do is I can go to live preview and I can see what my website would look like on this particular theme. So as you can see, it's um, pretty different <laughs> to, to what um, I've currently got. Uh, I could also go and have a look on this theme and what you might want to do is you might find that um, the theme that you've chosen goes across pretty well with your theme and therefore um, there's not much that you need to do or you might find that there's a lot that you need to do when it changes to, to another theme. So it may well be that you want to 
um, get your web developers to use, to install this theme into a, another file so that you can um, work on it or that they can work on, the, on just making sure that, that the new theme works on your site and then get it transferred across. Um, or you might be able to just work on it and get it done in a couple of hours to get the, the few changes done just depending on how complicated it is. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an idea of how you can change your theme if you want to to a, um, to a responsive theme that could instantly make your website uh, mobile friendly and may only cost you the 50 or 60 dollars for the theme depending on 75 dollars for the theme and then your time or a developer's time just to make sure that the theme um, has all your images in it and is working properly for your site which may be a lot cheaper than actually having to get someone to try and fix what's actually wrong with your site okay so uh, best of luck with that if you've got any questions then let me know but I've got I'll put links in all the description in the description below to all of these uh, sites that we've the template monster and other sites that we just looked at